Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to be showing you how to do the duplicate stitch method of colour work. This can also be called Swiss darning. Duplicate stitch is ideal for adding small areas of colour work to your knitting, such as adding eyes to knitted animals or a monogram to a blanket. You actually add duplicate stitch colour work after you finish knitting, so it's more of an afterthought method. Note that you'll always be adding duplicate stitch on top of stockinette stitch, and I also recommend blocking your knitting before you begin, so the stitches are as even as possible. Before you start, if it helps you, you can mark the stitches you need to duplicate using stitch markers. To begin, make sure you choose a yarn that's in a colour that contrasts well with the knitting you're adding it to. Also, make sure the yarn is the same weight as the yarn in your knitting, or perhaps slightly thicker. Once you've chosen your yarn, cut a length that's no longer than your arm span. Then feed this yarn into a yarn needle. Note that for right-handed people, it's easier to move from right to left where possible, because the needle needs to point in the direction you're going in. Otherwise, it's easy to twist the stitches accidentally. And vice versa, of course, for left-handed people, who will find it easier to move from left to right. If you look at your stockinette stitch, you'll see that it's made up of V shapes. Each V is made up of two strands of yarn, and that's the visible part of a stitch. Choose the stitch you first want to duplicate, and then come up through the base of that V shape. Make sure you leave a long enough yarn tail to weave in later. Then you need to go under the two strands of the V shape above the V shape you're currently duplicating. You want to do this horizontally, and the needle needs to move in the direction you're generally moving in. So in this case, we're moving from left to right. Make sure when you're picking up these two strands horizontally, that you're only picking up these two strands. You're not picking up any additional strands underneath. Then you need to go back down through the knitting at the base of the V-shape you're duplicating. So you're going down through the same place you previously came up through. And that's one duplicate stitch completed. And you simply repeat this for every stitch you want to duplicate. So we move to the right and we come up through the base of the next stitch we want to duplicate. Then go under the two strands of the V-shape above, making sure we only pick up two strands. And then back down through the base. And that's the second duplicate stitch completed. You never want to pull hard on this yarn because that will make the duplicate stitch disappear into the stitch below. Now I'm going to move down to the stitch below, and it's exactly the same concept. You come up through the base of the V-shape you want to cover, then you go under the V-shape above horizontally, and in this case it includes the original stitch plus the duplicate stitch. And then you go back down through the base. And then I repeat the same for the next few stitches. So come up through the base, go horizontally underneath the duplicate stitch and the stitch below, and then back down through the base. If you need to, as you go along, you can use your yarn needle to adjust the tension of your duplicate stitches. You want to make sure that they fully cover the stitches below. If you want to speed up the process, then when you go back down through the base, you can come up through the base of the next stitch you're going to duplicate at the same time. That just cuts out one extra step. And for the rest of the pattern, it's just the same concept repeated. As you go along, you might also want to stretch your knitting a little bit, just to make sure the tension is not too tight. Now 
And that's it, that's how you do duplicate stitch colour work. I really hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.